find like-minded individuals and find resources which will help you make decisions on your investments. Welcome to another episode of Stocklist, the show where we take you through the various stocks on our personal watch list and advise you on whether you should be looking into them as well. Disclaimer, please. Yep, so we're not financial analysts, neither are we financial advisors. Nope. So everything we say with a pinch of salt, Maggie, flour, baking powder, everything else as we're in lockdown. Africa, uh, what that? <laughs> uh, everything we say is for entertainment purposes only. So today we have a very special video for you, a very highly requested mm. video. Yep. People just be biting my mm, ear off mm, request every video. Day, every, every day, every single day, every day. So, what is this video? A beginner's guide, step-by-step -step guide how to start investing in, within the stock market. Start investing today, mm. step mm. by step, mm. one by one. One by one. All mm. right, cool. Make sure you got your pen and paper ready. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Actually, you don't need to, I'm all right. Yeah, we're right here anyway, we're but right here yeah. Anyway, but, you know? yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right, so we'll go straight in. The first one, Mike, what's the first point? Find your why. Why do you want to invest? Don't just invest because of the hype. Find the reason. Some some people's reasons are long term. Some people's reasons are short term. Yeah. Some people's reasons is for to build generational wealth, which is long term. Yeah. Some people's buying shares be, for your kids. Some people's might be to just purchase something in the near future. Yeah. So find your why. It's the most important. Yeah. Most Don't important. just follow the hype. And make sure it's the correct reason. It's the yeah. correct why. Yeah. You're not doing it for the wrong reasons. Mm -hmm. Just a bad drip. Mm. I'm joking. <laughs> that, that could be the right reason for somebody. So point number two for me is to create a watch list of companies mm. and research these companies. Yep. For me, it's important to actually have an active interest or have a liking to the companies that you want to invest in. Mm. Say it again. Yeah, that, that's the rule. You're preaching. Preaching. Yeah, preaching. Yeah. One of my friends sells trainers. Mm. He loves Nike. He does the resale thing, innit? Yeah. He loves Nike. So I told him, why don't you look into buying Nike shares then? Mm. Do you know what I mean? Do some because you understand what's happening in the company. Do your research, and and go into buying shares in Nike, buy shares mm. in Adidas, all these trainer companies. Mm. You know that's your forte. Mm. You understand that? Mm. I don't. I would never buy shares in Nike because <laughs> I don't get it. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Yeah. So 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 I just tell people, find a, a list of companies that you actually know a lot about, mm. that you have an interest in, mm. and you call that your watch list. Mm. We're not saying go and purchase it. No. Do you use that as your watch list? As your watch list. Just, yeah. just have it there. Mm. I'm doing my research. I'm looking into these companies. I like these companies. Mm. For me, for example, I'm into electric cars. Mm. So I did my research on Tesla. Mm. I'll leave it there. Yeah. yeah. So research should involve growth strategy. That's mm -hmm. number one. There you go. And then things that are happening right now with the business. Those are two pointers and yeah. the rest you'll find. Find out who's behind the company, the CEO. That's another good point. Find out the kind of people that are running the company. Mm -hmm. Find out their financials. Are they actually making money? Mm. Find out how they're making money. Mm. These are key things. It's key. It's key. It's key. Word, 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 word. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. Point number three. Yep. Find your app or broker. So again, find something that works for you. Um, different platforms work in different ways. Um, some of the platforms that are out there at the moment, uh, eToro, yeah. Training212, Hargreaves and Lansdowne, Robinhood if you're in America, or a private stock broker. There's many more platforms as well. Uh, like I said, find something that works for you and don't just follow the, the hype. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. yeah. So point number four links in with um, point number three, which is make yourself familiar with the process. Um, if it's an app or a private broker, find out what the fees are. Find out how the app works, whether it's by um, using a practice account or um, find out whether or not um, the withdrawal process um, takes two to four days or a week or a day. Just find, find out, out the, the details. Process. Find, find out, out the details. details yeah. yeah. And when you use a practice account as well, um, you, you, you basically begin to understand the volatility of the market yeah. and and different principles of 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 investing mm -hmm. you know so definitely get familiar with, with the process. process step number five please sir key step okay, very key extremely key step mm -hmm. subscribe to stock list subscribe. Mm -hmm. subscribe to this mm -hmm. channel mm -hmm. because we have so much content so much so just much. to help you so much we just want to get our people investing we want to get people the more you learn more the more you earn the more you learn the more you earn mm -hmm. Get me, and the day you don't earn is the day you should learn. Mm -hmm. So that day, 
Should be the day you're watching Stocklist. Yep. There correct. you go. So subscribe to Stocklist. And at the end of the day, we're trying to make education as fun as possible. That's it. None of this suit and tie nah, nonsense. Nah, nah, nah. Just Look talking financial so. jargon. My jumper says 63. What does that even mean? <laughs> <laughs> what does that even mean? So step number six. Yep. Find like-minded individuals and find resources which will help you make decisions on your investments. Mm. So your circle is important or the people you talk to are important. Yep. You might... Um, bounce back ideas uh, of each other and also the resources um, I'm going to list a few that potentially could help you make decisions on your uh, investment so the likes of CNBC there's TV station as well as their website which is really helpful uh, Stansbury Research Yahoo Finance BBC News The Economist Motley Fool um, and Apple Stocks yeah. so the last one is one which I use on a daily basis. Um, Apple Stocks is one which sources um, news from various websites and puts it in one place. Um, you can also add various companies onto your watch list. So it sources um, information um, from that company directly to to the app to the, the app platform. yeah for you yeah, yeah. For you. yeah that's easy yeah apple stocks i know a lot of you try to delete that in the past just to save space on your phone but please <laughs> i beg is <laughs> it's an important app the, the whatsapp messages won't download because you've got no space on your phone <laughs> so you want to delete the apple stocks mm -mm -mm. app don't do it don't do it yeah don't do it. deleting money don't delete it all right cool point number seven please all right so point number seven is quite key mm -hmm. um and that is organizing your capital yep and getting ready to start investing yep Right, so for me personally, I get paid a specific salary yep. and I take away a percentage of that salary, so maybe 5% of that salary mm -hmm. and I dedicate that amount to investing. Yep. So if I get paid maybe a thousand pounds, I might take out 50 pounds yep. and say, this 50 pounds every month, I'm just gonna put into some stock. Mm -hmm. That is my investment capital. Mm -hmm. That's me organizing the capital. And the next step, once you organize your capital is to upload it onto your chosen platform just so it's there and it's ready to to start investing point number eight conquer your fear and buy your first stock remember you can buy fractional shares in a company so for example if um, tesla is worth uh, 735 dollars you can buy um, a fraction of that at yeah. 30 dollars depending on you don't the have to buy the whole 735 dollars exactly, worth exactly you can exactly. buy how much what's the minimum you can buy depending on the platform it yep. could be 30 dollars yep. which in uk pounds is like 20 something, 20 pounds. something yeah. pounds yeah yeah so what's 20 what's 20 pounds like that's Bro, that's yeah. uh, chicken and chips in certain area i'm telling you <laughs> some expensive places, chicken and I'm chips like, nah, I don't even know. that's nando's nando's yeah that's the full the full platter yeah that's the yeah. full platter yeah 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 <laughs> so yeah, yeah you, uh, don't be put off by the share price because you can buy fractional shares in a company yeah, and that's what puts off a lot of people um, buying people shares. think you have to invest 10k yeah. straight yeah. no, yeah. no, you, no you can no. invest slowly you can yeah, invest yeah, yeah. you can buy around here. 5 or 6 companies yeah. you're buying thirty pound, uh, $30 of one company here mm -hmm. another 30 of another company, company here, here. Yeah, yeah, so. and you should you know, fractional shares yeah. Yeah, yeah, and then gradually build up your, your the portfolio amount, yeah, the amount you own in the company yeah slowly so point number nine yes so point number nine for me is quite key mm -hmm. um don't throw all your eggs in one basket mm. i did this mistake and i got burnt mm. you understand mm -hmm. um so he that doesn't listen must, must feel. feel and i mm. felt <laughs> so now mm. i diversify my portfolio mm. i've got 100 pounds here mm. i've got 50 pounds here mm. i've got 30 pounds here mm. you know i've i've or dollars let's say, Sorry, yeah, dollars, dollars yeah. it's mainly dollars anyway yeah, I've, yeah. I've i've invested i've allocated funds into lots of different companies mm. which i know about mm. i've researched yeah. all these companies yeah. as well mm -hmm. yeah but the point is if one company was to go down i won't lose all my money mm. i have money invested everywhere mm. someone probably is watching this and asking how many companies is a good amount to diversify your portfolio yeah for me personally i've got between 27 to 30 companies okay um, which for me it works yeah because you have the time to go and research i have the time there. to research mm -hmm. so there isn't a specific amount just don't make it one or two yeah don't no. make that mistake yep. even three no like i feel like anything above 10 yeah is a it's good it's, it's, a, yeah. it's a safe number yeah but make sure as ian said diversify your portfolio 
for me personally i've got about 15 um simply because my, my head mm. can be in too many places at once mm. however i understand the importance of diversification yeah. so i do my best and that's that's the th- those are the main key points those are main key points like yeah. we said we're gonna reiterate subscribe to this channel that's point yeah. number 10 because that's I, point number 10 yeah. for you yeah subscribe to stock list yeah. we have the key info mm-hmm. you need yeah yeah so we hope you've enjoyed this video if you have any questions feel free to reach us on any of our social platforms yep. make sure you send this video to at least one person that you know wants to start investing yep. and like the video comment and be sure to subscribe yep. subscribe guys subscribe. We'll, we'll see you the next one thank you hey.